everybody, this is Mr. DSR View. Today I'm making a slightly different video again. This is something I actually get a ton of questions on. It's a little bit ridiculous, honestly. But anyway, what it is, is how do you move things from your DSi to an SD card? And like, I get asked a ton of questions about how do you do that, or how do I have so much space? So I decided just to go ahead and make a video about it. What you do, once you got an SD card in your SD card slot, now in my SD slot, I use a micro SD card. Let's pull it out there. I'm sorry about the terrible lighting, by the way, guys. I really am. This is a micro SD adapter. My card itself goes in there. You can see it's actually really small. I think this one's two gigabytes. I also have a four gigabyte one if I ever run out of space, which I probably will soon. Anyway, let's close that up, go to our system settings here. So what you do, right here, first thing you see, data management. Click that, and it takes you to this right here. Uh, hold on, that's actually really bright right now. Let's see if I can, oh, that's better. <laughs> All right, um, so here it takes you to this screen. On the top it says system memory blocks free. I have 75 right now. SD card blocks free. I have about 1700 free. So, I actually don't have too much space on my SD card. Chances are normally you'll have, you know, 9999. So, plenty of space. Now, to start with, the DSi comes with 1024 blocks. I believe DSi XLs and new DSi's come with a bit less because they have the Flipnote Studio and Internet browser preloaded. So anyway, right here, it starts out on the system memory tab, which is all the stuff I have on my DSi right now. Now, I'm not going to scroll through that stuff. Anyway, if we click here, this is the SD card tab, and this is all the stuff I have on my SD card, which is, you know, good 50 apps. I think it's like, might be a little more than 50 now, but right around 50 or so. So what you'll do, you'll click on whatever game or app. It'll ask you if you want to copy or delete. Now, I'm going to copy it. I just like to copy it for convenience purposes. And it'll take a little moment. It depends how big it is, of course. It'll copy it to your SD card. And wait a little bit. Should finish copying any second now. There we go. And we look here, and there it is, right there. We can also copy and delete it from the SD card. And we can delete it here, too. Now, if you delete it, you can get it back from your SD card. Like, when you copy it to an SD card, it knows which DSi it came from. So if I put this SD card in a friend's DSi, it would not let me copy it to his system. Or maybe it would, it just wouldn't run. I forget. But either way, it's not going to work. And um, also, if you don't have an SD card, but you want to just save some space, just copy, or not copy, just click delete. And then when you go back to the shop, just go back to it, and you can re-download it for free if you want to. And I think that should just about cover any everything. I highly recommend getting an SD card. I mean, you know, for music and stuff if you want to copy some pictures but mainly for apps and games if you want one just for apps and games I think like a 512 megabyte will be fine I don't know if they even make 512 megabyte SD cards anymore they're really not that expensive so you know two gigs four gigs won't really cost you too much if I recall my four gigabyte one cost me well it came with a little bit of other stuff I think it was like fifteen dollars or something ten or fifteen dollars so not too much at all and then a micro SD to a USB adapter is like three bucks or something so yeah I recommend getting an SD card but like I said you can just delete stuff and you can re-download it from the shop if you want the only thing is if you delete it and re-download it from the shop I'm not sure if it'll have any save data you had before like for example if I copy and like then uh, delete a game with like high scores or something 
or that it remembers what like levels I beat. I'm almost positive when I copy it back, it'll remember that. With some things, I think it will like delete some stuff. Like with the internet browser, I think it'll wipe your cookies and history and stuff, or it'll wipe something. But I'm pretty sure with almost everything else, it does remember. I believe Mighty Flip Champs did. So anyway, I rambled a little bit, but hopefully that should explain absolutely everything. So there you go. Um, I guess that's just about it. If you like this video, please rate, comment, subscribe, send this to your friends. Check out my website. I'll see you guys next time.